All right. All right. So before you do anything, yes, I wanted to disclose that this is my idea, entirely my idea. Felicia had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and these are from my own personal mother. I wanted to make a couple. It's Mother's Day in, what, a month? In a month, yeah. So I wanted yeah. to make some really interesting shirts. I mean, we've made her a, a ton of shirts, and I really want to make her something a little different that nobody else in the world has. So that's what I've done here. So in no way should this reflect upon Felicia. I just wanted to make a disclosure. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so they're they're all lit up green, both of them, so they're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna do one shirt with one and one shirt with the other. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way. This one, this base is hot. This base is not. I can touch this one very easily. This It's hot, it's just not super hot. Does that make yeah, sense? it's pretty warm. It's pretty warm, right? All right, so here is one shirt. We'll do with but the, it's not damaging the table or anything, right? No, we're it's using... It's got no, a little spacer there. No, right? we're using um, a mat, okay. a heat mat, for protecting the table, so no, no issues there. Probably a good idea to let people know that uh, the Cricut base is a little cooler under on the side. Right, I agree. I don't know about underneath. But uh, there is a considerable amount of heat coming out of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Important Agreed. Enough. All right. So this is one shirt that you picked, right? <laughs> so we're going to put the little sperm on the front and I we're going to put the same on the back. I bet there's a lot of people right now watching this who <laughs> wish she had swallowed. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to, that's one. And then the second one is this one. Oh my God. Who came up with that? Was that you? That was you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for putting up with all my, you know. Okay. All right. So we're going to put we the... We can't do this on Amazon, can we? <laughs> we cannot. We're going to put the words to the side mm -hmm. and we're going to use um, one of them to do the pink shirt. Just lay it out here. Kind of eyeball it. <laughs> uh, a little lower. A little lower? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I mean, where do you typically put girls' stuff? Right above the boob line? Yeah. Like, what's the... Yeah, I guess so. The normal. You want to see? You want to see? Here. Mom's hang pretty low, so... That's that's good. I think that would You want to show? No. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. So, let's go ahead and use... You're so dirty. <laughs> let's go ahead and use the mini for this one. Okay. But I'm going to grab some uh, parchment paper, so give me one second. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and press the image onto the shirt using the Cricut Mini that is already heated up and ready to go. So we're just gonna kinda hold this down. It does not cover the complete image, so we'll have to reposition after a few seconds. What is, what is the whole purpose of the Mini? The Mini allows you to do smaller projects. Like if you wanted to put an image on a hat, this would be great for that. An image on a child's onesie would be great for that. Um, some people like to put images on um, shoes. Mm -hmm. So this would be a nice small, um, it's got a precision precision tip, so it makes it easier to really get into tight little spaces. I see. All right, so. I wonder if the other one has that feature as well. Now, from the bigger machines to the minis, you can see this doesn't have a counter. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking and I'm not really paying attention to how long I'm ironing this on. So we're going to go ahead and check it and see if we've got it adhered. And voila. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was an experiment with what the mini. What exactly is that? That is a, a tadpole. tadpole. Good. Yes. Mom loves frogs. Yes, mom does. Yes. All right. So we use the mini. Do you know many people eat frogs? Oh, nasty. Yuck. Yeah. All right. It adhered just fine. No problems. It looks like it's on there really well. All right. All right. So we're going to set this one aside. Mom's going to love this. Or she won't. <laughs> and we're going to do another shirt. And we're going to try out the um, HTV Rock. Where'd my image go? We're going to take our image, position it on what our What exactly shirt. is that? Is that ice cream? Yeah, we'll yeah. call it ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Yogurt? Yeah. All right, position that one on here, grab our parchment paper. We're going to grab the HTV Rot, which is heated up to the highest temperature. And we're going to just go ahead and put that over here. It definitely has a larger base. Um, Not so much of a pointy tip. It does have a pointy tip, so okay. it's got the precision tip as well. Nice. The handle's very comfortable. Not hot? Not hot at all. Okay. Neither was the mini Cricut. So we'll just kind of go over this for a minute. Again, neither one of these have a counter, so you kind of count on yourself. Watch your time. Is that annoying? No. I'm used to you. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. 
Can you guess long enough? Oh, that looks good. That's some great looking custard right there. You like that? Mmm. Mom loves ice cream. All right, so it is on there very well as well. No issues. So I would say that from a comparison standpoint, the minis operate about the same. The differences would be that one gets the Cricut uh, Mini gets up to 400 degrees, where the HTV Vuitton gets up to 356 degrees. But the Mini has a much smaller footprint than the HTV Vuitton. I really do like that. And one of the other big differences between the two is price. Mm. The HTV Vuitton is going to run about 10 or 12 dollars cheaper if you get them on what? Amazon. Yep. Wow. Yep. So. Save some and money. Save some money. And the yeah. base too gets and, a little warm. And the base on the HTV Vuitton does get a little warm. Okay. Where they it's always are. a good idea to use a pad or something. Like absolutely, that. absolutely. Towel, pad, whatever you've got. Cool. Okay. Let's take a look. Can we do some big stuff now? Yes, we can. So let's switch gears. All right. So here we have the Cricut Easy Press 2. This is a 9x9 nine nine base. It heats up to 400 degrees. It has temperature setting. It has a timer setting. A plus, minus to adjust your temperature and time. And then a, um, a Cricut button to actually start the timer moving. All right, now the Cricut comes in a nine by nine, which is this one. It also comes with a, or a um, 10 by 12, okay? Um, this one is the HTV Ront, and it has a display as well. It's got temperature settings, timer settings, the plus minus, plus minus to adjust the temperature settings. It has a, an R for, um, to start the timer. And the interesting thing about this one that sets these two machines apart is if you can see, I don't know if you can see and zoom in on that, but this one tells you the amount of pressure that is being applied to the device. Mm. That's, I think that's kind of cool and interesting and where the Cricut does not have that feature on it. All right, this one, the HTV Ron is, this is the only model they have and it is 10 by 10. It's a nice size machine. All right, this machine, gets up to 410 degrees. This one gets up to 400. Okay. All right, so you want to make a shirt? You want mm -hmm. to do, finish our project? Finish mom's shirts. Okay, we'll finish mom's shirts. We have them both set to 320. All right, I'm gonna, now the Cricut one, I can pick up and move the base with no problems. It should be the same with this one. No problems okay, picking up the base while it is hot and on. Let me grab my shirts. We will start with this one, and what's our saying that's going to go with that one is that, yeah. but we're going to put it on the back. Uh, I don't know. You want it on the front, or you want, front. you want it on the front? It's better on the front. What do you people think? It's not how we designed it, but we can do it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to find the middle by folding the design in half based on the, the actual meaning of the two sides pressing the middle to find the center point. And I'm gonna judge based on here that that's about the right place for it. You agree, Fresh? Good to me, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab my parchment paper. We're gonna do um, this one we did with the Cricut Mini. So we'll do this one with the Cricut Easy Press. All right. And we'll just set it, it's set for 320. We'll press it for 30 seconds. So we'll press our timer button. And I'm not going to apply any pressure to these. We're just going to let them go and see what happens. And we're going to count down to 30, um, let it cool for just a second and see if it did come up, or if it is, I'm sorry, if it adhered all in 30 seconds. And um, we'll do the same with the H2 Euron. What's the price difference in these? So the price difference is if you get this on sale on Amazon, it's $149. This one you can get on sale on Amazon for $85. Wow, that's, that's, a, price. that's a big delta between the two. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the heat press from the design. And we're gonna just kind of let it cool down for just a second. And we'll see if it adhered. You think she's gonna love or hate this shirt? So it did not completely. So it, um, the glitter vinyl that we're using needs a little bit more time. So we're gonna go ahead and do another 30 seconds, which is typically what I do when I do glitter vinyl, I do about a minute. Now, did you have the, the mini hotter than that? Um, actually, we did have the mini a little bit hotter than that. We did. Yeah. Now, each, each company, Cricut and HTV Ront, both on their sites have a heat guide that gives you information about the temps based on 
the type of mat you're using, the type of material you're using, and which device you have. Okay, so go ahead and remove that. We're gonna let this one cool down for a minute. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way while we press this one. Okay. okay. It's a great shirt. I'm glad you came up with that idea. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. all me. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna do the same with this one. We, could, we did these in larges so they could kind of be a sleepy shirt. I'm not sure mom's gonna wear these in public, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Felicia, yeah. you can do it. Okay, so but you should wear these. I'll, Would you wear these I'll wear. Um, okay. Or stop. All right. So I folded it in half again to find the middle, and I'm just going to position it below my image. <laughs> this is all you. All right. Hopefully we have it straight. I'm going to put our parchment paper back on. We're going to grab our HTV rod. Nice big, oh, nice big base. Set our counter, which is set for thir uh, 30. It's, it really is interesting that you can, if I press just a little bit, the temp, the pressure is adjusts itself. I don't know how much it can do. Right now I'm sitting at 28, 29. Wow. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Is there, are there projects that require a certain amount of there are pressure? Some, there are some projects that do work better with pressure. That would mean, uh, include anything you're doing with sublimation, um, with a sublimation printer or even the infusible ink. Hmm. All right, so we did, we're gonna do another 30 seconds. So they're equal. You can turn that cricket off. All I'm right. On the circuit here. <laughs> okay, turn it off. Again, the base is not hot, so I can pick it up and move it out of the way. No problems. Yeah. Got about 13 seconds left on this one. Cut into that. Oh, wow, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and take this off. Set it aside. Move this, and we're gonna also set this one aside for a minute while it cools down. And we'll bring the first one back. We'll go ahead and see if our material adhered. Our vinyl is sticking very nicely onto our shirt using the Cricut Easy Press 2. <laughs> Do you think that Every mom should have this shirt. Oh, I think a lot of moms will want this shirt. <laughs> I'm thinking probably not. Mm. Mm. I would say that the the uh, glitter HTV material is stuck very well to it. I think the Cricut Easy Press did a great job. Mm -hmm. No problems whatsoever. Good. All right, so there's that one. All right, and we'll grab the other one. So I'll put this one aside for a second. You should sell these on your Etsy store. Oh, one yeah, I can, can only imagine. Yeah. All right. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and see if this one stuck. And it did with no problems whatsoever. Oh. I like that. That stuck very nicely. And there you have it. So what are your final conclusions, Felicia, about these two machines? About the four machines? The talking. four machines that we talked about today. I really do like the HTV Ron. I like the size um, 10 by 10, and I love the pressure setting. I think that's an interesting one, especially when you're using, um, again, sublimation materials. Do you love the price? I really love the price. I mean, $65 Delta, I think that's huge. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Now, there's only about, I don't know, $10, $15 Delta between the minis. Um, but I did like the uh, footprint of the HTV Rant Mini, that it was a little bit bigger than the uh, Cricut one. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think HTV Rant's a great machine here. Success. So success, price-wise, definitely um, something to consider. Absolutely. All right, well, bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs>